Hey everybody, Jordan Samuel Fleming here, CEO of Game Changers and founder of Boost PM, the most advanced workflow and automation system on the market for property management companies. Now, today I want to talk about workflow management. Workflow management is something that everybody talks about, but not everybody really understands how a proper system can revolutionize how you do it. And when I talk about workflow with companies, I talk about two types. I talk about passive and I talk about active. Now, passive workflow management is what you get when you use something like Excel, Google Sheets, or, or even a system uh, maybe like Process Street. And what happens is, in a passive workflow management system, you're creating uh, maybe a checklist, and that's a good thing, so you know at least what, what steps you need, but your staff have to go actively search out for exactly what they need to do. They need to think and go out and say, well, what, what steps do I have left? Let me go find out what I have to do. That's passive because the system is, is really just sitting there and waiting for you to interact with it. Active workflow is the holy grail from my point of view because active workflow is what Boost PM provides. It is a way of designing your processes, not as a checklist of which you will look at, but as a set of processes that live through time and that provides you with automation and task management through time. Active management means that instead of going out and having to figure out what I have to do, the system is laying out what I have to do in front of me. And that's a real mindset shift that we're finding with Boost PM customers. We're going from a situation where they're managing 350 doors and they're constantly, the property managers are constantly thinking, oh, what do I have to do for this property? Oh, what do I have to do for this? Keep scribbling notes, keeping little lists, etc. To a system where they are creating their processes, and those processes are being triggered the exact same way each time. That means that you have consistency, i.e. you may scale to more, two or three more property managers, but they are all working in the same way, and that's vital. But you also have a way of laying out the tasks in a timeline so that you can change your mindset from what do I have to do, what, do I, what, are, what, what am I not forgetting, to looking at a system and saying, well, what do I have to do this week? What do I have to do today? What do I have to do next week? Let's take a look at how Boost matches this. Now, in Boost PM, um, we have something called sequences. And sequences are your workflow. Uh, and that means that your workflow is created over time in a sequence of events, uh, whether they are tasks or communications. Um, so you see here, we've got two uh, sequences here, uh, a lease renewal and, and a late payment sequence. Uh, let's take something like a late payment sequence. In a late payment sequence, we've set this up as a little uh, demo with three touches, right? We've got a first, a second, and a final notice. And if I look at the first notice, in our sequence, we're saying, okay, the first sequence uh, we've got happening on day zero. That means the date that it is triggered, right? So that, that sequence gets activated. We want to do something immediately. And in this case, what we've done is we've created two communication templates that we want to go out. So part of this workflow is when we've identified that a late payment sequence needs to be activated, bam, immediately trigger it and send out these two things. One is an email, as you'll see here, and one is an SMS. And of course, there's no point in sending these things if we can't personalize them. So when you look at how we do this, this communication template, we're using merge tags across the system to drop in specific things. And I'll show you how this works. So that means we're able to, at a, at a template level, identify which communications we want to auto-generate and then drop in tags to merge the data each time it's sent. And of course, because Boost PM is completely customizable, if you need different parts or different parts of the system merged into your emails or text messages, you just have to reach out to your Boost PM team and they'll create new tags for you, which you can then do yourself, your emails, and control how everything reads. So this is a good example of, uh, of a sequence. Now, what about workflow? These are tasks. So in this case, we don't have any tasks here, but if I go back and I look at maybe the third touch template, so I'm the final notice, I'll notice that, oh, I do have three tasks. So in this case, it's seven days after the trigger date. And on seven days after the trigger date, I want these three tasks to be executed. One for finance, collate financial statements on tenant, uh, one for property manager, final warning call, and one uh, for the property manager schedule a visit. Those three tasks as part of our workflow for a late payment are gonna happen on day seven of the triggered sequence. And that means you have a consistent application. 
What does that mean in real life? Well, if you were using a system that is passive, you would have a checklist and you would have to figure out, oh God, I forgot to call these guys two days ago. I need to do it. With Boost, when we activate a sequence, the sequence is laid in front of you. In this case, I'll just pop over to an invoice and I'll add one. Um, again, these can be uh, done automatically by our system, uh, but let's just add one. It's gonna be rent. Let's say it's for 2,400. Let's say the payee contact is Alex. Uh, I believe Alex is with the apartment building one and his unit is 1A. Pretty sure that all that's true. Um, so now we've got uh, an invoice here and we we're expecting payment. It's status is due. Again, these sorts of things can be automatically generated. I'm just showing you how it is in a manual sense right now. Say that the system then marks it as overdue, which I'll do myself right now. Once it's marked as overdue, oh, we're gonna trigger that sequence because that's how we've set that sequence to happen. And you'll see here on the right, things are starting to happen. So right now, the system has identified the trigger for our workflow around overdue invoices needs to be activated and it is triggered and activated. And you can see things have started to automatically happen. You're not doing this. Your people aren't needing to create anything. Things are simply just happening on their behalf because that's how we've created the template. Now let's see, what does that mean in real life? Well, let's pop over to our tasks. Now in our task management, um, again, this is the difference between passive and active. In our task management, all these different processes that you bring into Boost PM are going to be creating tasks automatically with the due dates associated with what that sequence is. So D-Day plus zero, you know, zero, plus two, plus four, uh, plus 10, plus 30, or in fact minus, um, if you're thinking about like a lease renewal. In this case, let's just refresh this screen. And we, we at the moment, uh, we had four tasks and now we have five due in the next seven days. And this is a really point, important point. We've technically got 30 open tasks right now in our demo system, but we're only showing five right now. Why is that the case? Because the truth is, for our workflow, for us understanding what we have to do this week, right now, what is the point of looking three weeks ahead? What is the point of being cluttered with all of that? Let's make sure, given that the system is creating all these tasks, let us focus our view on what has to happen this week, in the next seven days, or indeed, as you see here, overdue. From a management perspective, that means that I can look at this and say, okay, let's look at what's happening this week. There are five tasks. These are when they're due in the next seven days. Um, I can open them up. I can see who it's assigned to. I can just see which property, which unit, the fact that it's a related invoice there. And I can understand what needs to be done in this task. I can also, for instance, uh, reassign it. If the person who is assigned to that task is called in sick, I can very quickly go to which task they have assigned to them for this week, for this day, and reassign them. So if Boost PM support, who is our kind of demo user, if they call in sick today, this morning, I can immediately go to the task and say, okay, what did they have on today? Bam. Let us uh, immediately reach out and um, reschedule those tasks to someone else. Or if they're not critical, I can move them on a day. I can move them on two days, but I have complete control. Now, looking ahead, if I look at all future tasks for Boost PM support, you can see in the background, our system is doing things because it's re realizing triggers have happened by dates. Um, if I look ahead at all future tasks, I can see that some of those ones that we have here on the 22nd, et cetera, collate financial standards, they're there. I have, they've been, they've been created by the system. We know we have to do them, but they're not in our filtered view for right now because they're not important right now. But say I want to look at the capacity for next week. I could simply go, okay, Boost PM, he said that he wants to go to an event next week. So let me see all the ones that are assigned to Boost PM where the due date is next calendar week. That goes down to 14 tasks. These are Boost PM's tasks, and I've manually marked that overdue just to show you that. Um, these are Boost PM's tasks for the next calendar week. 
we now know exactly what his load is, what boost PM that user has on his plate next week. And we can determine, well, is it okay that he takes the 19th off? Is it, you know, what, what needs to happen? Do we need to reassign anything? Um, does he have too much on his plate? That is about active workflow management. The system has created all these tasks, put them into the dates forward based on the workflow that you have designed in your processes. And instead of having to go to each unit individually and figure out what checklist to do, they all come into this one central point where you can see them against all your different employees and you can filter down the data to show you exactly what you're looking at. In this case, what does Boost PM support need to do next week across everything? That's active workflow management and it can be an absolute game changer to your property management business.